Hello everybody, this is Al with Bobcad. Today I wanted to pick up on this 3 plus 1 thread that's uh, pretty active right now and uh, ways that you can use uh, indexing to machine parts on your uh, fourth axis. So uh, what I want to do is uh, open this file here and this is the, the file that we're working on and you can see there's this curved surface here and uh, what we want to do is cut this with our fourth axis. So there's some prep geometry that I, that I need to generate, but the first thing I want to do is uh, uh, orientate the part um, how I want it to start with. So I'm just going to rotate this. I want this um, uh, the curved surface to be uh, facing up in Z like it is here. And then, um, you know, what I want to do is move this... Uh, over an X. So let's get it over here. That's fine. Okay, move it over an X so we have, um, you know, my rotary axis is going to be over here. I'm going to be cutting with cylindrical stock, so I just kind of want to move it down uh, this way. I This is the orientation that I'm choosing. I mean, obviously, you could set this up in a variety of different uh, orientations, but this is where I'm coming from. Uh, from here, I'll go ahead and uh, run my uh, stock. Let me pick my machine, run my stock wizard. This is going to be a long X. All right. Let me see what I got here. So this is 1.1002, and this is 2.506. So I'm going to add some stock around the OD, like such. I'm going to add... Um, Let's go with like an inch on the end here, and uh, I'll add a little bit on the face here. Okay. All right, now my zero, I'm gonna make um, the uh, center of my stock here. And then I'm going to choose OK. And then I just want to uh, ghost this out a little bit. All right, that's fine. Now, um, like I said, there's some prep geometry. So I'm going to take this uh, model here, and I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to uh, paste it on layer number two. Uh, from here, I want to unstitch this. And then, now that I've done that, I want to untrim these surfaces. Uh, surface, untrim. Okay. So, put this on too. Alright, so... change the color of it and then we'll move this to this other layer all right so now that I have it on its own layer what I want to do is uh, extend the surfaces surface extend and we're just gonna Just extend it out a little bit. Okay, that looks good there. Alright, so we got this is the surface I'll use the rotary toolpath on. Um, let me see what else I want to do. I'm going to add a, another layer here, pull up the original front view, and. Um, Front view. All right. So from here, what I want to do is um, surface spline. All right. 
box. Okay, like that. And we'll do surface extrude. me that. So that's additional prep geometry. Let's go to another layer and let's turn this one off. Turn these two uh, back on. All right, so this one okay. This one I want to uh, generate some additional geometry. Uh, utility, extract edges, single. It's kind of a, a neat little part because uh, there's a number of different uh, videos that I've created um, over the last couple of months and this particular part uh, incorporates quite a few of the concepts that we've learned uh, along the way. So what I'm doing here, if it's not apparent, is I'm getting the OD of the part. And I'm going to use that, uh, I'm going to project this down and I'm going to use this for uh, profile milling. Alright, so let's go to a top view. Okay. Uh, surface, planar, alright, let's go to brown, other, project curves to surface, okay, let's pick the color green, get rid of that. What I'm going to do is snap some points here and get rid of this stuff. Line join. I'm going to get rid of this stuff here. Go to there. Go to there. Go from here to here. Line parallel. Ah, whatever. That's fine. And then trim these up. Trim this to here. Trim that to there. Okay. So I need that profile as well. So I have that profile. I have that surface. I have this surface. Okay. Now, um, I need to go to my side view, or front view again. Let me add a new layer here, throw my CAD back on, alright, front view, and then from here, I need, um, I'm going to do other rectangle sketch, so this is going to be like this, okay, uh, surface planer, Um, all right, I need, from here, I'm going to do intersection curves, so we'll make this a different color, uh, surface, inner, uh, surface intersection curves between that and this, okay, we can turn that off, oh, front view, go back to our front view, rid of this thing. Uh, we need this hole here and um, get rid of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, line uh, continuous. We're going to go from here to there. And then line continuous. We're going to go from here to here. All right, so from here, I can um, trim this stuff away. 
like that, and like that. Okay. Um. Let me bring this back up. I actually needed that outside curve too, so let me create another layer here. And we'll just do this again. Uh, front view, other rectangle. Uh, surface planer. And then from here we need, um, yeah, whatever, surface intersection curves between this and that. Turn that back off. Uh, oops, front, get rid of this. Now we can get rid of this and that and that and that and this stuff here. All right, that should be about all the prep geometry that we need for this file. Unless if there's something else that I haven't thought of, which is possible. And then uh, what we'll do in the next video is pick up the machining.